Hey everyone, this is Phantom Celebi, and um, I guess I don't need to make a video like this, but I do have to get a lot of stuff off my chest, and I don't want to seem ingenuine when I do videos, so um, I just want to say that for the past few months and more, you guys have been super sweet to me, and I've been, I don't know, health-wise, I've been going through a roller coaster of hell and back, <laughs> being sick on and off, and <laughs> I'm trying not to shake the camera, but um, it's just been <laughs> pretty hard for me. So, um, let me show you something. I don't just do bangs because I like bangs, but it's also because <laughs> I'm losing hair. Like, spots over here, spots over there. I'm <laughs> trying to hide the balding spots. I'm losing hair. And I've been gaining weight again, been bloating, I've been sick, if it isn't vomiting, it's diarrhea, it's pretty uncomfortable to talk about, but I'm always sick. And... making videos for you guys, even though I don't have a lot of people watching me, it still it makes things better, you know? It makes me feel like I'm actually doing something. I mean, I'm sorry, but things have been very rough for me. I mean, there's been so many nights where I just feel like, like I'm dying. And I, I don't know, it's, maybe it's because I've been so depressed, but it's also all these very uncomfortable feelings. My joints always hurt. My head is pounding on and off. It feels like there's no end in all these horrible symptoms. And some days I handle it very well, but other days I feel like I just have to stay in bed all day. And it's just so horrifying. I try my best to stay composed and have fun with you guys, but sometimes it just it feels like I'm going through an endless roller coaster of hell. And nobody in my real life really gets me. I mean, they're, they can be very empathetic towards me. And they can be uh, the sweetest people in the world, but like, when your own body's against you, it makes you feel like you're going to, you're gonna go through hell for forever. I mean, like, I guess I didn't really talk about this in any of my videos, but I have lost a lot of friends in the past two years. I've lost quite a few friends. And it makes me feel like my body hates me and people hate me. And I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> but the thing I do know I have is faith. <laughs> faith in myself. Faith that God will be there with me. <laughs> when I try my best to do what I can, but it's really hard. I 
could probably look like a mess right now, but... <laughs> it's really hard to just stay all bubbly and positive. And I don't want to be that. I don't want to be fake. I want to be as real with you guys as possible. Because the truth is, is I'm not always happy. <laughs> I mean, I did a video on how I have really bad depression. And <laughs> weirdly enough, that has the most views on my channel. And <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe Misery likes company. But... I mean, the worst thing I found out recently was my Aunt Noelia, the one who died, the one I mentioned on, on Twitter. She died from lupus. She died from lupus-related complications. And so did her daughter. And she wasn't, she wasn't super young, but she was definitely really young to die. And it's like, hearing stuff like that, I don't know, maybe it triggers me. But it's like, it hurts. I mean, I kind of wished that I wasn't told that. Because maybe I could have not thought about it. Maybe... I could have went on with my life knowing that I would have been okay. But I, I don't know. I don't regret hearing it either. Because I'd rather know the truth. I just kind of wish that just my aunt had told me that the reason her daughter had this illness was because she had this illness. And it's, she's my, my dad's family. So... I'm like thinking in my head. I'm thinking in my head. <laughs> Where did I get this from? Nobody in my family get has this except maybe for my cousin. And apparently it's it's a common thing with the girls in my family. And I just, <laughs> and I just didn't know about it. Jeez. <sighs> but yeah. It's just, it's, it just, it bothers me, you know? It bothers me that I have an illness that I didn't even know ran in my family that deep. I didn't know that, like, I wanted to do so much stuff with my life, and it's, I can't. Because this dumb illness makes it almost impossible to do anything. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I would want to eat from a chef that can't eat food properly. I mean, I don't even get that. I'm sick all the time, and I'm still really fat. <laughs> you know, how horrifying is that? And I know I shouldn't blame myself for that, but it's just... I mean, I try my best to eat right. I really do. But my metabolism is so bad. I go outside. I go for walks. I go to the gym. I'm not unactive. But I'm always sick. And it bothers me. I don't want to be sick anymore. <laughs> I look hor horrible. I'm seeing myself and I look horrible. But I just, I want to vent. I want to speak to people. And if any of you guys know what it's like to have a chronic illness, it really is a nightmare. I mean, especially when I saw, there's this YouTuber I watch, and <laughs> the weirdest thing, she's into everything I'm into. I'm into doing art, 
I'm into writing. And she has an autoimmune disorder, just like me. <laughs> and it just makes me think. Is it just <laughs> us people with these problems? We feel since we can't contribute in other ways, we have to do it creatively. And I mean, I should show you this. Let me see if I can get the camera to turn around. <laughs> I don't know how to, so I'm gonna just show you stuff. Okay, so see, let me see if I can angle this properly. Yeah, this, this is all sorts of creative little buttons. I'm not doing YouTube videos. Okay, let me get the camera right. But yeah, um, when I'm not doing YouTube videos, I'm doing arts and crafts. I'm doing all sorts of projects. My, I, I used to do Palmer Clay stuff, but Palmer Clay is kind of an expensive hobby for me. Because <laughs> the only place to buy it at around here is Michael's. And Michael's is a bit expensive. Also, like I, I do crochet. I My favorite channels that do art is the channel I was mentioning, which is, um... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just I'm looking at myself and I feel like <laughs> I'm very <laughs> bad looking. But yeah, the channel that I was talking about before is um Nerdy Crafter. She does she does uh statues and she does all sorts of stuff. The other channel I'm really into that's not gaming is um a crocheting channel called Jada and Stitches. I would watch her videos and it would make me smile because it made me think of when I was a little girl. She reminded me of Miss Rizzle from the Magic School Bus. I used to watch the Magic School Bus every single time I was sick. My mom would play it for me. And she would stay by my side. And she would tell me everything's gonna be okay. Well, Mom, everything is gonna be okay. I'm gonna get through this and I'm gonna be strong. But I need to vent, and I need to be able to be me, and I'm, <laughs> I'm just trying not to be too overly emotional, but <sighs> lately I've just been so incredibly emotional, and it, the fact is, is, I think part of it is my friends constant, the ones I do have left. Constantly telling me about how horrible their lives are. Like, I've had more than one friend tell me this, and what makes me upset is my life is pretty horrible. But I try to appreciate things, you know? And I feel like none, none of these people appreciate what they have. They have functioning bodies that don't make them sick all the time. If they wanted to go out and chase their dreams, they could. <laughs> you know how much harder it is for me to do things? And you, you guys are gonna tell me that you have it hard. And I never try to compare people's struggles, because I feel like everyone's struggle is important. But... It just bothers me because it feels like they're not trying hard enough. Where I'm trying so hard and I'm not getting anywhere. And I don't- that sounds mean. I know it sounds mean. But it bothers me so much. And I, I just want to tell you people out there. Appreciate every little bit that you have. Go to your families. Give them a hug. 
You never know how long your mother or father is going to be there. You never know how long your brother and sister will be there. You don't know what will happen the next year or anything beyond that. Somebody could die in a car accident or get horribly ill and go to the hospital or even get cancer. So you should appreciate every single moment you have with your families. You should appreciate every single thing you can do. Because every day, even though I struggle, I try my hardest. And I think you guys do need to as well. I'm probably offending so many people, but at the end of the day, if a person with lupus who is struggling to even get out of bed in the morning still tries, you should too. Anyway, I've vented enough and cried in camera and made myself look like an idiot. But I just I love talking to you guys and I love you all so much. And if anything happens to me in the future, I want you guys all to know that you really did make my life better. Love you. Peace.